Let's take a look and see how we can install Office 2019 using the Windows Insider program. So go to insider.windows.com, click on the sign in, and if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one now, and then you'll get your approval that back usually within a few seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in, and we'll get started. I am logged in. Let's go ahead and click on All Microsoft Software Office. And then we're going to do a search for that 2019 version. So let's go ahead and click on the search box at the top. Put in Office 2019. Now, unfortunately, when you do that, you don't get what you really want to get to. So you have, what you have to do is go to Google and type the same thing in, and then you'll get the option you want. So let's go ahead and put in Office 2019, download, and go ahead and click on 2019 Preview, and scroll down to where it says Office 2019 at this link. And there we go. So now we have the area that we want to be in, so let's click on the very top where it says sign in to this collaborate. A couple of things to note, you can only do this on Windows 10. And I'm using Edge, but you can use uh, Chrome or Firefox if you want. And it will move a little bit faster. Now you see the packages area, so you're going to want to click on that. And you want to go down to where it says Office Deployment Tool, Win32. And you'll go ahead and click on the download. So that'll give you what we saw earlier, which is Office 2019. You see uh, the configuration and the setup. Now the Office folder gets downloaded when we go ahead and run this command. So let's go ahead and switch to this directory. And make sure you're in an administrative command prompt. You can just right click and choose Command Prompt Admin and you have to have admin rights to the computer. So first thing we're going to type is setup slash download and then configuration XML. So we've got this XML file, but so before we actually type this command, we need to edit this file. So let's go ahead and right click and choose edit and it will either open it with WordPad or Notepad. Either one's fine. So this is the default configuration XML. There's also some other uh, junk at the top of this. Uh, you can just delete everything up until where it says configuration. So now what we need to do is we need to make one change to this, and that is we need to add the source path. So all I did was I put in quotes uh, backslash backslash client, which is the name of my computer, backslash share. So another thing you can do is instead of putting the name of the computer is you can just type in local host. And that way, if you don't know the name of your computer or don't know how to get to it using the uh, control panel system icon, then it will be fine. Everybody's computer is named local host by default. All right, so the rest of the document, you can just leave exactly as it is. You're just adding in this uh, section here with the share. Let's go ahead and save that. And now let's go ahead and go to... Um, where the uh, we're going to be creating the shared folder. So I went ahead and right-clicked and chose to create a, a folder, and I call it Share. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and just do it again from scratch. So we right-click, we choose New Folder, and I'm going to call it Share. Now I'm going to right-click on the folder and go to Properties. Now if you're using the home version of Windows 10, this is going to look different. You can still share it, it's just going to look a little different than what I'm showing. Go ahead and click on the Sharing tab. Go to Advanced Sharing, click on Share This Folder, Permissions, and give everyone full permissions. You can always take this off later. Go ahead and click OK, and go ahead and click Close. So how can we tell if we did that right? Well, you can do this, backslash, backslash, local host, hit Enter, and there it is. We just uh, We see the Share folder that we just created. Now we're back at the command prompt, and we're ready to go ahead and run this command. So we'll go ahead and hit Enter. Now when it's all done downloading the files, then it will go back to a command prompt again. If you get an error, then you probably typed something wrong when you went into your configuration file. Now this could take quite a long time because it's downloading these files from Microsoft and it looks like nothing's happening. So you could, uh, it could be 20, 30 minutes before this thing is done downloading and that's okay.
One way we can check to see if anything's happening is we can go ahead and click on our folder and go to this PC, go to the F drive. Now remember, we decided to put this in a folder called Share. So let's go ahead and double click on Share. And we can see, look at that, there's an Office folder that automatically got created. Double click on that. Oh, there's a data folder, and look at that. Now we're starting to get some files getting downloaded. So you can see this big one here is 277 megabytes. It's going to take a little while, depending on the speed of your connection. Go ahead and close that, and we'll just wait for this to finish. Now we see the download is complete, and we can go ahead and go to the next step. And that is replace the da word download with the word configure. And we'll go ahead and hit enter once again. And once again, this can take quite a while to finish. So what it's doing now is it's taking those downloaded files and it's now installing Office 2019. So if you want, you can occasionally check your start menu and see uh, those different applications as they're installed. But obviously we're not quite there yet. Well, we see that Outlook has popped in. And I think I saw, oh, there's Excel has popped in, in the last minute. And there's Word as well. Now, just because we see them doesn't mean it's actually something we can use yet. We have to wait until this cursor comes back and shows us our, our drive saying that it's done. So try to resist the urge to open it until it is complete. While we're waiting, just for clarity, let's go back into our F drive and take a look. And you see this Office 2019 folder and this Office folder that I showed you earlier. So this particular folder was because I had downloaded the files to a different location the first time around, although I had not done the installation. And I didn't want you to be confused because now we see that same Office folder sitting in the shared or the share folder. So wherever it is that you set up your configure your configuration.xml file to download it, that's where it's going to download those files. So for demonstration purposes, I'm re-downloading the files to this new folder called share, and then it created this office folder automatically. So when you do the download from Microsoft of the, uh, the setup tool, you're just going to see these two files, configuration and setup itself. All right, let's minimize that and go back, and we can see that the installation is still going. And when it's done, we'll go ahead and open up the application. Our installation is complete. Let's go ahead and open up one of the applications here. We'll just go right for Word. And we'll go ahead and click on a new document, go to File, go to Account, and there it is, Microsoft Office Pro Plus 2019 Preview. So that's how you install Office 2019 on a Windows 10 computer using the Windows Insider program.